Now to a story you'll see only on News 5. Can Southern Colorado roads keep up with our rapid population growth? It's a simple question with a complicated answer. News 5's Zach Baxton continues our month-long State of Growth series with a look at the challenges facing critical infrastructure as more and more people move into our region. It's no secret we've got traffic troubles in the Pikes Peak region. Sitting among thousands of cars on I-25, Powers Academy or Woodman can drive a sane person crazy. With more people moving in, nearly 14,000 into El Paso County in just the past year, transportation leaders say they're planning and ready. It's all a matter of money. We're definitely seeing an increase in congestion. Pikes Peak region roadways are getting more crowded. We're projected by 2040 to see an additional 50% increase in growth. The Pikes Peak region will continue to grow. Rush hour traffic is a near certainty each morning and night along I-25 through the heart of the city, and it's getting worse. Over the past decade plus, CDOT and the city have rebuilt key interchanges like I-25 and Cimarron and Fillmore on the interstate to improve traffic flow and handle additional volume from both locals and tourists. But will it be enough? More and more traffic is using those areas as we become a greater place to live as well as a great place to visit during tourist season. At a cost of $150 million, the 12-mile Colorado Springs Metropolitan Interstate Expansion, or COSMIX project, was handling 100,000 drivers per day when it finished in 2007. Barely a decade later, that number is now as high as 128,000. Well, over the next uh, couple of decades, we're looking at about 1.5% growth annually. Uh, an increase in population. More people, more traffic. CDOT says Cosmics may need to expand. The Cosmics project was definitely built in anticipation of future growth, additional lanes if needed. Already well underway, the 18 mile I-25 gap project from Monument to Castle Rock is also being built with wide shoulders in anticipation of expansion in the years to come. But it's not just the interstate. The Springs Eastern Beltway Powers Boulevard gets more crowded every year as that part of the city is by far the fastest growing. New interchanges at Woodman, Briargate and Union and Old Ranch have already been built, but notably missing Powers and Research, a traffic nightmare. We've been working with CDOT very closely on the interchange design uh, and what that should look like and so that we can accommodate our east-west needs through, uh, through that interchange. Right now we have a project that's being designed that will convert powers and research into a diverging diamond interchange. Similar to I-25 and Fillmore. As for the city itself, the focus is going high tech and multimodal. A network of bike lanes, although controversial as some say they create more traffic than they prevent, are meant to handle an influx of urban millennials, more and more who are opting not to even own a car. They want to be able to, uh, to have opportunities for multimodal uh, transportation, or bicycles, or transit, that they don't have to be car dependent. And as cars get smarter, the city says they plan to leverage that technology. You can connect our vehicles and they can operate and talk to each other on the network. You can theoretically provide more capacity on your roadways so that you can avoid having to expand the roadways. Big plans, but how to pay for them? In Colorado Springs, voters have chosen repeatedly to dole out from their own pockets to help fund construction and repairs. That's going to be a key piece moving forward uh, in addressing our infrastructure need is the uh, continued generosity of our of our residents and providing their tax dollars to fund infrastructure improvements in this city. Voters not so generous to CDOT. Two funding measures on last year's statewide ballot were soundly rejected, putting the agency in a pickle for how to pay for the myriad of necessary projects. Realistically, we have to look at growth and how the budget has to flux with growth. And a lot of times we can't meet those congestion needs without additional funding. Both CDOT and the Springs plan to roll out comprehensive traffic surveys and studies soon. CDOT says this year their budget is $2.1 billion, but the majority of that goes to maintenance of existing roads and bridges, not construction of new ones. Always watching out for you, Zach Thaxton, News 5.